but uh, they're the fans, and uh, they have every right, and he has every right to make the decisions he's made. So, as far as uh, you know, them booing when he touches the puck or does whatever it is, uh, I don't think it'll have any ill effect on him. What an ad. Yeah, no, you can't. You know, you, you don't bring those types of players on board uh, on, a, on a yearly basis, and. You know, uh, we'd love to be able to lock him up a little longer than what we have for right now, but uh, that's up to management and him. But uh, obviously, when, when we found out we were getting Marion, we, we knew that we were getting a world-class player, and, and he's been a great guy too. He's fit in just, you know, just fine with everyone. He gets along with everyone, and um, you know, he's been a great, great guy to have in, in the dressing room. The series has been difficult on him, just you know, with the, the, the extra hits that he's taken. Marion. Maybe in the, I don't know. I mean, I think for him being the type of player he is, uh, you know, a star player, a player that you know you have to worry about. We were in this, we were on the flip side of it last year, so you definitely try and uh, you know I'm not saying take liberties, but you definitely try and finish your checks. You try and be a little harder on a guy like him because he's such a, a big part of uh, of a team's uh, you know offense, defense, everything, specialty teams. So he's a guy that you got to be worried about and that you're trying to wear down. So I think he he knows that, and it's not just this year or last year. It's probably been his entire your career and um, you know he's a big strong guy and he can handle himself and I think uh, he knows how to prepare himself for it. Just uh, prove that we have really good doctors here and uh, you know maybe uh, all the credits to uh, the guy. Are hockey players a little tougher than the average athlete? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. How, I don't know. I, don't, I, wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say so. No. Jonathan, is it, it, this is a pretty pivotal game. I mean, if you guys take a 3 nothing advantage, I mean, it's pretty much goodbye. I mean, it's pretty much over. I mean, how, is this a must-win almost for you guys, too? Uh, of course. Like, this is uh, uh, really a really game for us, and they are going to come out really desperate here, I think. And uh, we don't want to let our guards down here in, in, in any way here. So we're going to try to win every game we have a chance to win. And, uh, do you expect anything to change on their part? I mean, well, a little bit maybe desperation in the game. Uh, it's a little bit more pressure on them right now uh, here at home and then uh, down to nothing in game. So, uh, uh, of course, it's a little bit more pressure on those guys. Um, with, with what Ozzy's doing uh, and basically what he does at this time of year, you know, I think. Uh, you know, Ozzy's really turned himself into uh, you know a clutch performer. You know, a goaltender when you know people are talking about uh, you know there's always that argument uh, you know in a do or die situation. You know, you want in there and you know the, the names you've always heard. You know, Brodeur, Luongo, Kiprusov, those kind of guys. Well, you know we got a guy here that's uh, that's been pretty clutch for us. So um, you know, but with that said, we're obviously very biased towards what uh, what Ozzy has done and what he means to this organization. But if he is so clutch, should he be the goalie? gold medal game in Vancouver. If he's the best big game goalie right now, should he be the guy? Well, I, why not? Why shouldn't he be? What do you think? I don't know. I, I Your sports see him. illustrated. I know. I'd want to see him the first <laughs> half of the year. But, I mean, if he is, plays this well under the similar situation, I mean, you know, he not only should go to Calgary, he should be. Well, he's going to be, uh, I would say right now with what he's done uh, over the last two months, uh, you know, he's put himself right in that mix. Uh, that's me sitting here, you know, kind of hot stoving it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's obviously there, there's people that are, are there to make those decisions, and, and a lot is going to have to be with, uh, with, like you said, what he does at the start, uh, start of next year. But I think uh, right now there's, uh, there's, you know, he's doing everything he can uh, to put himself in an elite, in an elite category, and he's done that. He, uh, he says he just loves the playoffs. You, you see that in him? Absolutely. You know, it's. Uh, it's everything's just different, you know, uh, at, at this time of year, and, and certainly uh, for Ozzy. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's played he's played a ton of hockey in his career, uh, but when he gets uh, when he gets these opportunities, I just remember last year, you know, um, 
when Dom was starting, you know, just uh, you could just see the work ethic in Ozzy um, preparing himself just in case, you know. And uh, you know, that's one thing that I think I would have to say, uh, you know, is it, he kind of made that statement, you know, that you know, in practice, pregame skates, no matter what it was, you know, being around the guys day in and day out, you know, at the start of the playoffs, that you know, if he was called upon, he was going to be ready to go. And what does he do? He goes on a nine-game winning streak when uh, when he gets that call. So, you know, he uh, he proved everybody that he was going to be ready. And once again, he's uh, can't say enough about uh, you know the level of his play. It's been uh, it's been unbelievable. Uh, just a little off topic. They're uh, they're killing octopus and stuff here at Pittsburgh to try. Oh, yeah, like they're already dead. Sorry, uh, let me verify that. Uh, <laughs> The ones that land on our ice are dead too. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just wonder what yeah, you've been part of that tradition, and now maybe Pittsburgh's trying to. Uh, you know, there's always some mind games between fans. And yeah, I think uh, you know, let them have their fun. You know, why shouldn't uh, why shouldn't both cities enjoy this? Uh, you know, we, you know, Chicago had a commercial too. You know, and we saw that, and you know, people asked us about that. You know, we're just we're not going to get caught up in that. Our job is to. Uh, you know, to, to play hockey and win hockey games, and uh, you know, you hope that uh, both cities would have fun. It's a great time of year for them too. In the postseason, counting the Calder Cup playoffs in this, it's coming the third period. You juice and flow a little more when, when the pressure's on the line. Yeah, I guess so. I'm, uh, you know, it's, I guess I like playing the third period. I don't know what it is, but uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I guess, it's just one of those things where you know you're trying to put pucks on net and. Oh, third period, I guess they're, they're going in. Right you, you got to hold the cup last year and skate around with it, but you don't have your name on it. Yeah. How much of that is a driving force for you? Well, that was huge. <laughs> you know, last year, you know, obviously it was, it was pretty cool to carry the cup and have the cup for half a day and whatnot, but, you know, that, that was pretty much a driving force for me, you know, all summer and all year in Grand Rapids is, you know, I want my name on the cup. I want, I want to contribute, you know, in the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. And, do what I can to help them. You know, it was fun. It was fun being a part of it last year, but that was kind of the driving force all summer. Was you know, I, I want to be a part of the team and be in the lineup and you know, help, help them win. Two wins away is sleep becoming a little more difficult these days. Uh, it, it is kind of, but um, you know, I just uh, sleep is important though. You know, especially at this time. So try to get as much rest as I can and. Uh, you know, it has been difficult the past couple of games because it's just been so exciting, you know, for me personally scoring and stuff. But uh, you know, it is important, so I'm trying to get as much as I can. Justin, when you're going through this and you've got all this, all these starts in the locker room and you know, future Hall of Famers, how much are you feeding off them? How much are you uh, learning from them as you go through this? Well, you learn a lot. Just uh, you know, they share their experiences. Um, you know, they're. The biggest thing for me is just uh, realizing, you know, they, they don't get too high or too low, you know, after a period, between games, after games, like, you know, regardless if you win or lose, you know, it's just got to keep even keel, and um, you know, that's the biggest thing I learned from them, and, you know, they've, they've helped me along the line, been really supportive.